Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over why I think that I ended up getting cervical cancer. We all know HPV causes almost all cervical cancers. So of course there's that infection, but why was my body not able to fight off the infection and make it dormant in my body? Why was it running rampant to the point that it caused cervical changes in my cells? that led eventually to cervical cancer. If you missed my things that you probably don't know about HPV video, I went over some of the misconceptions about HPV. And in the video, I mentioned that normal people, nobody ever said I was normal, but normal people usually clear HPV within one to two years. They put the virus into its dormant state so it's not an active infection. Because I ended up getting cervical cancer, haven't been able to fight it off. I don't know if I have up to this point or if I still have an active form of it. But why was my body not able to fight off this stupid virus? Years ago for my birthday, I got 23andMe. And one of the genes that they test for you for is called MHTRF. It's a deficiency that doesn't allow your body to methylize folate. If you look on boxes of cereal and pasta and breads, they'll sometimes say that they have fortified vitamins in them. They'll have folic acid. What happens is when your body eats folic acid, it puts a methyl group onto that folic acid to make it methylfolate. Your body can then use the methylfolate correctly. People who have this, this mutation can't do that. So that folate stays in a form that your body can't use. It's also the same for vitamin B12. And as we all know, that vitamin B12 is very important. And so is folic acid or folate. So if you're taking these vitamins and they have the wrong form for your body, they don't have the methyl form, then your body can't use it. It might as well be flushing it down the toilet. Your body can't transform it to the version that you can use, so it's not doing you any good. You might as well be deficient. And what does this have to do with cervical cancer? Well, when you have HPV, one of the vitamins that they recommend that you take is methylfolate and methyl vitamin B12. Why? Because they help your body fight off the infection. Well, I didn't know to take the methyl forms of those vitamins, so I was just taking the regular stuff, which is usually like the folic acid or folate. It's not the same as methylfolate and I wasn't taking the methylated form of vitamin B12 either. So I was just putting all of those vitamins and flushing them down the toilet. So I was in essence deficient for these nutrients. And since you need a good form of methylfolate in order to fight off HPV, I didn't have that. So I think that was probably one of the reasons I ended up getting cervical cancer. In another video coming up, I'll go over some of the supplements that can help fight off HPV. And are you having a hard time fighting off HPV? Do you know if you have this mutation? Is there another mutation or any other reason you think that you might be having a hard time fighting off HPV infection? What worked for you? Please, let's share share our knowledge, what worked for us, what didn't work for us. That way we might be able to help somebody else. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great week and until next time, bye.